Welcome to Organic Wine Review. I am Winston Jones, your host, and we are with... Wow, that was hard to follow. <laughs> Jenny. Woo! I'm feeling loud today because we're reviewing Zinfandels. And you know how Zinfandels have that certain effect on California people. If you've ever been to the Zen <laughs> Fest, you know it's just not your typical wine. That gets, it's that, that gets crazy, special. that Zinfest. It gets crazy. So we're happy to be reviewing the Horse and Plow 2009 Zinfandel with grapes from Mendocino. Have you ever heard of the Horse and Hound magazine? That's not what this is, but have you ever heard of it? It's from a movie. What's the movie? Notting Hill. Notting Hill. Woo! Oh. Julia Roberts. Well, Zen drinkers would not be watching that movie. I can tell you that <laughs> much right now. So, <laughs> Mendocino. When you talk about Mendocino, you talk about organics. And um, what do you have to say about the organics on this wine? This is certified organic. Um, they're doing some great things in Mendocino. That's about all I have to say. That's about all you have to say. Great. I want to mention, this says old vines on the bottle. Old vines is not a technical term. It just describes the age of vines, and there's no um, parameters. But these are 40 to 90 years old. And when you get old vines, what that means is the vines begin to struggle to get their water. They produce smaller berries, more skin. So you have more skin to juice ratio. So you have a concentrated grape. Yeah, I mean, there's so much more to talk about than just the organics on this wine. It's a really delicious um, kind of wine. I mean, we, we are getting ahead of ourselves, but let's smell it. Yeah, mm. and also one thing I really like about this, Zins of late have been overpowering. You're pushing 16%. This is much lower at a 14.5, which means I'm probably going to like it just from that aspect. He can drink twice as much or one Close third to as it. much. Yeah. <laughs> So it smells like raspberries, wild, like a wild brambly meadow where you get stuck in the thistle and you're really pissed off because when you get home, you have all these stickers in you. <laughs> as, she, as she figures out her personal <laughs> issues over there, I'm going to get back to the wine. It's got that really nice raspberry. She said a little bit of jamminess, almost like a blackberry jam, but not overly jammy. It's got a little bit of black pepper on the palate. Um, I really like the brambly call, but it's a very pleasing full body wine covers my whole palate, takes me to another place. Yeah, and it doesn't, it doesn't like hit you with alcohol. You don't feel like you're, you know, if you light a match anywhere near here, it's gonna be really scary. It's a really nicely made one. I agree, let's go zinning. Zin. Zin. 